Hello, everybody. Hi. So just first, make sure everybody is being really good for the substitute today. So you're being responsible and respectful all the time. Next, we're going to learn about the electromagnetic spectrum. So I need you to get out your lab notebook. Get that out right now. If it's not out, pause the video if you need to. Get it out, and then I want you to label the next section or page, whichever one you need to, the electromagnetic spectrum. So look at that, the electromagnetic spectrum right here. You're going to label that in your lab notebook. Okay, when you're ready to go, let's talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is made up of all the wavelengths out there. And they start really big, like the size of buildings between these wavelengths here. And then, whoops, they get really, really small, the wavelengths down here, the size of atomic nuclei. The part we can see on the electromagnetic spectrum is this visible light area right there. That's going to be the important part and what we're going to talk about today. So this is the part that I need you to write down. So you should start writing these notes down. The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all types of radiation. And the longer the wavelength, the lower the energy and the lower the frequency. We learned about this already when we were talking about energy. <clears throat> An example of this would be radio waves. The shorter the wavelengths, the higher the energy and the higher the frequency, such as gamma waves. These are also the most dangerous because they have the most energy. We can see the visible light part of the electromagnetic spectrum. And colors in that part have different wavelengths, and that's what helps us see them differently. Red has the longest wavelength, and violet or blue has the shortest wavelength. So we see colors differently because they have different wavelengths. If you need to pause right now, pause and make sure you have all of that written down. So when we talk about the electromagnetic spectrum, just to review again, red has the longest wavelength, violet has the shortest. And they carry different amounts of energy, but they carry the same strength of color. So just because the wavelengths are different doesn't mean that the strength of the color is different. It just means they carry different amounts of energy. Red would have less energy than violet because red has longer wavelengths than violet. Make sure you write this down in your lab notebook. Pause if you need to. So let's look at these two pictures right here. If you're looking at this picture right here, the sun is going to reflect all of its white light down onto the grass, transmits it there. All the colors are absorbed except for green, and green's going to bounce back to our eye, and we're going to see green. Same over here. The sun is going to reflect all or transmit all of its light to this apple. Then the red is reflected to our eye and we see that image. Okay, so what you guys need to do right now is to go to Google Classroom and you need to click on the color activity. There's a video you're going to watch. It's Bill Murray, so get excited about that. And then you're going to read some articles about color and record your information. When you are done, turn it in. Be nice to the substitute. Have a good weekend. I'll see you on Tuesday.